I just got back from Luton 2, Oxford 2. Is it a good point? Uh, no, it's not a good point because Luton Town once again threw in an absolutely abject performance. When the team sheet was announced, I was optimistic. I had a look through it, counted the centre backs, I counted the midfielders, I counted the strikers. Three, five, two. Great. As I've been saying, forget the philosophy, return to the fundamentals. And at first, it looked all right, didn't it? We played well. Elijah and Jacob Brown, they looked pretty good up top together. The midfield looked good. It was Clark and Nakamba sitting with Kraus chasing rounds and mopping up balls and whatnot. But it all fell apart at the end of the first half. And I'll talk about the second half, I guess. It was abject. And there is someone to blame. That person is Rob Edwards. Our goals were not us cutting teams apart. We actually create very little from open play. And remember, this is a team that won plaudits in the Premier League. This is a team where pretty much... All neutral fans were like, ooh, Luton, they're my second team. Love them, love them. But you know what? People are laughing at us now. We've played eight games. Seven of them are teams in the bottom half of the table. And we are struggling. There hasn't been one game where we've been the better team. The only game we played against the team in a top half position we got absolutely battered and people were saying it's only the first game don't worry it's only the first game and yeah it's not just the first game is it no there is something wrong right now at the club and fingers have to be pointed and the only person i'm pointing a finger at is rob edwards because he can't motivate the team. He's tactically absolutely clueless. I was all right when I was driving home and then I had three counties on. I listened to his interview with Simon Oxley. And he's chippy, he's <laughs> dropping in a couple of the uh, you know, little chuckles, playful chuckles. I can just visualize it with the, <laughs> you know, all this all this like oh, I'm, so, I'm so good looking who can hate me oh, i'm so charismatic i ooze charisma mate cut the shit his post-match interviews they're getting worse and worse oh right, look I, I got used to nathan jones he would dig out players he would let people know exactly what he was feeling during a game whereas rob edwards it's always the same lip service it's like yeah I, I thought we were actually quite good when we went down to 10 men we we were disciplined we were actually created more of a threat yeah rob you created more of a threat because victor moses was playing in an actual position that he he prefers as an attacker not as a right wing back I actually didn't know Victor Moses even was on the pitch for the first half. We, we didn't use him at all. Barely touched the ball. Actually had to have a look to see how many touches he had in the first half. He had 11. 11 touches. This philosophy of tippy-tappy, passy out the back, it isn't working. It hasn't worked all season. In fact, it hasn't worked since we beat Brighton 4-0. Ultimately, Rob Edwards has bought into his own hype with Pep Guardiola, Jurgen Klopp, Mikel Arteta, all blowing smoke up his ass. He's bought his own hype and he thinks he's untouchable. And looking at the game today, I can say no one is untouchable. The crowd has turned. There were boos at the final whistle. Other people might say, oh no, there were boos. There were boos. People were applauding as well. Personally, I don't understand the applause. It's like applauding a car crash. You see a car just drive straight into a wall and then... I don't get it. And there were people actually shouting at the pitch as, as Rob Edwards was coming off saying, Rob, sort it out. And the thing is, I can't see him getting sacked. He signed a four-year deal. There might be no performance-related breaks in the contract. It's at the point now 
where we're going to Sheffield United next and it could get ugly. Even worse, we have Watford coming to Kenilworth Road next and we could get embarrassed. Right now, when we play, the players don't know what their instructions are. As soon as the other team scores, heads go down. There's no one digging anyone out saying, that was your fault. The substitutions are all wrong. Taking Jacob Brown off and not replacing him with Joe Taylor, keeping two up top, which was actually working. Instead, we go one up top and have Elijah having to cover the whole lateral area of the pitch. He ran himself into the ground today. Taking off Tom Kraus and not replacing him with Zach Nelson, who's played a lot of football already this year and has impressed, made no sense. Bringing on Pelly. Like, look, I'm not in the business of digging out players, but bringing on Pelly today was not the right choice, especially bringing on Pelly at the front of the midfield three that we were playing. And then taking off Nakamba everything fell apart liam walsh what the hell are you doing mate what the hell were you doing to go in two-footed just 10 seconds after being on the pitch you're a muppet so i don't know what game rob edwards was watching when he appraised it i really don't if i were gary sweet The Watford game would be the last nail in Edwards' coffin. He's had a year now to instill his philosophy. And since Brighton, we've won... How many games have we won? Four. We've won four games. It's not good enough in almost a year. And even worse, the football has been absolutely poor i said in my last post match if you want to lose the the goodwill of the fans this is the way to do it he has in a way shown how good the ethos that nathan jones built at the club was because ultimately that promotion to the premier league was built off nathan jones whether you like it or not yes nathan jones had his head turned and had lost interest the team that got us promoted was a Nathan Jones team. And now we're seeing a team sculpted in the image of Rob Edwards. And I'll tell you what, it looks absolutely clueless. I want to give some props to Oxford though. Look, they're a newly promoted team. They were the only team that came to actually play football. They bossed us for large parts of the match. They have some excellent players. Tyler Goodrum took his goal incredibly well but at the same time it's just too easy to pass around us through us there was space out the back the one good performance today thomas kaminsky because oxford were on us a lot and thomas kaminsky stepped up he kept it from being an embarrassing score line i wasn't expecting at the beginning of the season for Luton to be promoted. I wasn't. I was expecting maybe an outside shot of the playoffs. I actually put us fifth in our prediction video at the beginning of the season. But you know what I didn't expect? I didn't expect Luton Town to be getting embarrassed by newly promoted teams, played off the pitch by teams that are in complete disarray and can't buy a win for love nor money, like Preston. And I expected a bit more tactical flexibility from a manager that has so much heat behind him everything's oh rob edwards oh rob edwards what a great manager well he sculpted the team in his image and it looks like a big turd right now it looks like a big turd that's uninterested unfit can't keep up with the players lining up against them sheffield united next it's gonna be a painful one and i am not looking forward to to Watford at home. I think back to the game in 1997 when they beat us 4-0 at Kenilworth Road. Can't get embarrassed like that on our patch. We can't. And maybe that will be the wake-up call for Gary Sweet. It has to be. Because it can't keep going on like this. I said it last week. I'll say it again now. Rob, sort it out. Prove us wrong 
you look like an absolute joke right now. It looks like you've gaslit yourself into believing you're the best. But the reality is, you're not. You're really not. But I hope you will join us for the post-match phone-in tomorrow, doing it at 9pm Wednesday evening. I want you all to get your thoughts in and get in touch with us. Tell us what you think of that performance. Hopefully, I've calmed down a bit by then. It really was an absolute abject performance. And let us know in the comments of this video, how long does Rob Edwards have? What would you change a loot in town? And while you're watching this, why not like this video and subscribe to our channel for even more loot in town content? I know you want to. <sighs> Got to smile at times like this. Well, can't really bring myself to smile, but <sighs> could always be worse, right? As always, come on, you hatters.